Welcome to another five minute religious education recap video. We're on the exam board educast. We look at the study of a world faith with a focus on Judaism. We're on the Jewish practices part of the paper. Um, and today's session is going to focus on the festival Passover, also known as Pesach. Um, and my aim is really for you to explain the origin, meaning and celebration of the Passover festival. So the origins and meanings then. Well, Passover is also known as Pesach, and it's considered one of the most important festivals. It reminds Jews how they left slavery behind when Moses led them out of slavery. And it's a celebration of freedom and prayers that are often said for those who are not free. So God instructed then that the Jews should remember and celebrate Passover. So therefore, it's a mitzvah. But it reminds Jews of their ancestry, their heritage, and it retells the story of the Jewish liberation from slavery. Now, the actual term Passover, it comes from the idea that the spirit of God or the angel of death, as it's referred to in Exodus, it passed over the homes where the Jews had marked their doorposts with lamb's blood. And we're going to explore that a little bit. But the quote from Exodus, it says, this is a day you are to commemorate for the generations to come. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. So there's a piece of evidence there to show how this is a mitzvah that Jews have to keep and follow. Now, the origins and meanings, perhaps one of the most important people here for Passover is Moses. Now, going back to it, I've done a video on covenants and Moses, so it'd be worth checking that out. But God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and he asked him to free the Jews from slavery. And in Exodus, it says, the Lord says, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. So here is God staying faithful to his people. He's heard their cry and he's going to respond and get them out of slavery. Pharaoh, though, he refuses to free the slaves. So through Moses, God sends the 10 plagues of Egypt. And God again makes it quite clear in Exodus. He says, I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform amongst them. After that, he will let you go. So not only is God's omnipotence coming through here, but also his omniscience. He knows what will happen. After this, the final plague is the tipping point. It's the death of the firstborn and it results in the Jews being freed. Here, God is acting as the judge and executioner. The Jewish baby boys, they were killed by Pharaoh. And now God has returned that with retribution. He's punished the Egyptians and he's killed their firstborn. And this is the thing that results in Pharaoh saying, just leave my lands, get out of here. And finally, Moses, then he leads the Jews to freedom and then they search for the promised land because he goes through that Red Sea that he parts. So celebrating the actual festival then. Well, before Passover begins, the home needs to be rid of any chametz. Now, chametz is any food which can rise or be leavened. So, for example, things like bread. And this reminds Jews how they had to quickly leave when Pharaoh agreed to let them go. They left so quickly that bread didn't have time to rise. So they will have anything that contains kind of yeast or can be risen. It has to be removed, eaten or burnt. After that, there's a special Seder meal. So a family will go and visit the synagogue and then they'll come home and they'll have a Seder meal. Part of the Seder meal, there is a Seder plate. Um, and this has a lot of symbolism on it now, which reflects the Exodus story of them leaving slavery. Um, first of all, the salt water, and that represents the tears and sweat of slavery. There is a thing called charaset, which is a paste made of apples, walnuts and wine. Um, it kind of makes this kind of brown colour and it's meant to represent the mortar that was used um, for the buildings whilst the Jews were slaves. The lamb bone represents the sacrificed lamb and the blood placed on the doorposts. Bitter herbs represent the bitterness of slavery. The roasted egg, well, when you roast an egg, it becomes hard on the outside. And this kind of reflects the hardness of the Jewish determination to always keep their faith, no matter how bad the circumstances get. And finally, the parsley represents the new life that God will offer the Jews as they get out of slavery into the promised land. So look at the Seder meal then. During the Seder meal, there are matzah. These are flatbread. Now, remind ourselves, the Jews left so quickly, there wasn't time for the bread to rise. So the matzah reminds them of that. But also one piece is hidden for the children. They have to go and hunt for it and they get a treasure, a little bit of prize at the end. And so it gets the children involved. Secondly, there are four small glasses of wine that are also at the meal. These represent the four times God promised to free the Israelites from slavery, the Jews from slavery. There's an extra cup there also placed for the prophet Elijah. Now the prophet Elijah is very important because he, it's meant to be that when he returns, he will announce the arrival of the Messiah and as a result, the Messianic age. And I've done a video on the Messiah and the Messianic age if you want to catch up with that one too. Finally, the Haggadah. Throughout the meal, the story of Exodus is told using the Haggadah, which is a book. And the children are encouraged to ask the same four questions each year, which explain the importance and the symbolism found within the Passover meal. And Passover, ultimately, it's both a celebration and a sad time. 
sadness because of the memories of slavery and also those who are still in slavery now who Jews pray for. But it is a celebration because Jews don't forget their ancestry and the freedom that they've now enjoy. So have a little look down the checklist of key terms, see if you can link into the celebration of Passover. If you can do that, you've been successful. If you want to push yourself a little bit further, go for some of these example questions. Whatever you get up to, thanks for listening. Best of luck.